Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to another delightful episode of Ride for Five. Today we're going to talk about what I've learned through the first three weeks of YouTube. I'm going to keep it under five minutes. We're going to make it quick, short, to the point. I'm going to ramble on about signs, traffic, work, my cool sunglasses, the sun's out. So just deal with it. That was harsh. I'm sorry. I apologize. But yeah, I'm not going to ramble on. I just want to talk to you guys about the things I've learned through the first three weeks of YouTube and give a little behind the scenes of the things I've picked up on, a few tips here and there, some little tweaks I've been making, you know, just the little things that you don't think of when you first start. You just, God almighty, really? Yeah. All right, I'm not rambling. How do, you, how do you even see me? I was not rambling. I wasn't rambling. There was, yeah, you're right. Yes, I said you're right. I said you were right. Okay, we're back. Apparently I was rambling. So let's get this going. Number one, you can't really care what people think while you're out doing your thing. I mean, you've got a camera in your face at all times. You're talking to the camera. People think you're talking to yourself. So you really, it's weird. Yeah, I get it. It's, it's really weird, but you have to just, just, you have to get over it. Number two, post-production is just as hard as getting in front of a camera. Sure, you can throw a video out there from start to finish and no editing done to it whatsoever. And I'm sure there's people that do that. I can't do that, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that just YouTube that way. And hats off to you because I look back at some of these videos that I've made and if I just put the raw footage up there, it's, it would have already been over. Number three, stop saying, um, so, and okay so much. I look back at my videos and I see that I had the habit of saying, so seems to be my big one. So this, so let's get back to this. So I don't know if it's a comfort thing. It's something that I need to work on personally. I'm sure there's others out there that have their little quirks, but that one's mine. Tip number four, learn to shoot B-roll. I use B-roll footage for things to cut away, to transition from one part of a vlog to the next. For example, this B-roll footage right here. But I can't see if you're right here next to me Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess And you tell me to confess And you tell me to confess Oh I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see this is not thinking real life, it might just have been a bad dream. That B-roll footage there shows that I am on the way to work or <laughs> movie magic. I could be on the way home from work. Ooh, crazy. Good B-roll footage really helps a vlog. It's the little things that, uh, that really help. I need to practice it more and get better at it because you really have to have stable B-roll footage. I. I'm going to be honest, I shoot a good bit of mine on my GoPro because it has the uh, hypermotion built into it. Is it hypermotion? Something motion? I don't remember. Tip number five. Don't chew gum while you're talking to the camera. It's just rude. I did it the other day in a vlog and I was looking back on it. 
and I wanted to delete it, but I couldn't because I didn't shoot any footage with me not chewing gum on that part that I needed. Does that make sense? Because it sounded like in my head that I just mumbled that out because my mouth's full of gum. You'd think that wouldn't have been a no-brainer, right? Not for this guy. There you have it. Five little nuggets of knowledge that I've learned over the past three weeks of uh, YouTube. And I wanted to throw a few things out there. For, especially for the people that are new to YouTube, like I am, very, very new. There's a lot of there's a lot of things out there you can learn and pick up on from other people. My advice would be to just go watch them, watch them and watch them and watch them. You start to pick up little little tricks to make post-production more easy, point A to point B, more cinematic, things of that nature. And in the long run, those should get better and better so we'll see i appreciate you all riding with me this morning like comment all that youtube jargon below and that's how we're going to leave it peace out youtube peace out